who's a great practitioner of the Ichimata to you? Right now, Shohei Ono, who's two-time Olympic gold medalist. That's his favorite throw. And he there's a, tons of highlight videos on the IJF and Judo Fanatic showing how he does his Uchimata. And it is quite different than everybody else's. Um, but it's unstoppable. When, they, when he comes in, nobody stops it. He's won two golds in, in a row at the Olympics. I think maybe in the last eight years, the guy's lost two matches. Yeah. You know, he's just incredible. So at, at a very competitive division, I guess uh, seventy three kilos. Yep. Okay, Good and job. then three three time world champ too. Is he the greatest of all time? Do you. The only reason why he's not is because Nomura is a sixty kilo player. He was three time Olympic champion. So no more. I mean, unless Ono is going to stick around for another three years and, and win again in. Uh, win again here in Paris, that's, you know, then he'd match what Nomura did. But three-time gold medalist in judo in a lightweight division, you know, that's pretty spectacular. So to you, the the being able to win a championship, world championship or Olympic medal is a, is a measure of greatness. It's not like um, you have some people who are not as accomplished, like Koga or something like that, but just the, the beauty uh, the, the moments of magic, the number of moments of magic is the highest, even if it's not championships. I think you have to go by that because it, it, there's so many phenomenal judo players that have come through the system of spectacular judo. Um, you have won you know, countless major events, but you know the ability to pull it together, right? At those magical moments, the, the pinnacle of the sport, the world championships, the Olympic games, and proving that you can do it time and time again, makes you unstoppable it makes you the best um you know there was a guy back in the 70s and 80s by the name of fuji and he won four world championships back to back and back then the worlds was every two years so he was here he was a four-time world champion that's eight years the top of the sport he never uh won an olympic medal hmm. you know he never went to the olympics you know so there's a guy who missed out on on olympic greatness but was arguably the best competitor back in that that period by the way same fuji as as fuji <laughs> right really okay wow i didn't know that was an actual guy fuji yeah. our brand is is named after the mountain mount fuji okay but you know this is a different guy his name was fuji all right well <laughs> um history rhymes 